So um, I had recently wanted to uninstall SoundGrid because I was not using it on this computer anymore. So like any normal person, I went to my Windows Add Remove Programs and searched for SoundGrid uh, and only found the uninstallation for the drivers. Uh, then the next time my computer restarted, it popped up with an error saying that the drivers had been uninstalled and that the application couldn't launch. But I didn't want the application. I wanted to get rid of it. There was nothing to be found on the computer for any way to uninstall SoundGrid Studio. So if you Google this, um, the third result down is how to uninstall Waves products. Uh, and I had looked at this, but the problem is that I had uninstalled at some point Waves Central. Um, and so I just kind of passed over this. Um, so if you are in that same situation, basically what you need to do is install Wave Central. Um, and at that point, this makes perfect sense. And you can even, after the application is installed, you can click on this and it'll open up Wave Central and kind of show you exactly what you need to do. So you just kind of walk through this. Basically, you're going to go to Settings and then under Maintenance, you're going to select. So I want to uninstall Applications and SoundGrid I.O. drivers. And actually, let's just do all. And we'll do uninstall. Oh, and uh, <laughs> OBS, the program that I'm using to record this tutorial, needs to be closed in order to do this. So I will come back when this is finished. OK, so as you can see, SoundGrid has been uninstalled. And then you probably want to go ahead and um, clear out your cache if it's not already empty. Um, and then if you want, you can do this complete Waves cleanup. And then once you're done with all of that, um, you can just close the application. And then as normal, you can go to um, add or remove programs and go ahead and get rid of Waves Central. But you just don't want to do that before you've gotten rid of whatever applications you, you know, Waves applications you're using. Because um, otherwise you'll be in that situation that I was in where you're just kind of stuck with it on your system. So yeah, hopefully that was helpful for you guys. Uh, I was racking my brain trying to figure out how to get rid of that stupid application. And I didn't realize I had already uninstalled the host application. So if it was helpful, go ahead and hit that like button uh, and let me know in the comments. Thanks guys, have a great day.